Hi, in this video we look at the parallelogram rule. Once again, our approach will be purely visual and in that sense, qualitative. When it comes to actual calculations, we'll use the scalar component method. This method, like the tip-to-tail rule, is good for visualizing situations involving vectors, though it is only practical for two vectors. For more than two vectors, this method does become unwieldy. Surprisingly enough, this method is quite useful for vector subtraction, which is something we will look at in a subsequent video. So here we see two vectors. To add them, we join their tails and then complete the parallelogram, taking our two vectors as adjacent sides of that parallelogram. This means that to complete the parallelogram, what we are doing is drawing the two remaining sides, which are opposite our two vectors. The result of the addition is the vector that runs along the diagonal of our completed parallelogram. So let's add these two vectors. I place them tail to tail, so I join them at their tails. So this is vector A, this is vector B, and then I complete the parallelogram, which means then I need to get the other two sides that are opposite these two. So the side opposite this I can just use a dotted line. Ignore these little points for right now. These are just here so I can move this line about. I'll make them disappear soon enough. Right, so this line is opposite this one. And then I need a, a line opposite this one. So I have another point here. And so let me just put these back so I can make it a bit more exact, more precise. Then I can get rid of these points. So I'm using an application called GeoGebra. Later on, we'll look at that application in more detail. So I've completed the parallelogram. Notice these sides are opposite these. And then the resultant runs from the from where, from the point where these two, where the tails of these two vectors meet, right across the diagonal. And of course, that's then the vector A plus B. So that's quite simple. Notice, this is fundamentally not different from the tip to tail rule, because if I take this vector and place it over here, notice, I get the same thing. Or if I take this vector and place it over here, I get the same thing. But it's a slightly different approach and so you um, need to know it. So let's see how we would add a third vector. Right now we have A plus B. Let's see how we'd go about getting A plus B plus C. So now we want to add the vectors A, B and the vector C. So to do this we need to first add A and B. That is if we're going to use the parallelogram rule and get that result, and then now add this vector to that result. So now we want to add this vector and this vector, using the parallelogram rule, because that's what we're looking at in this video. So let's get some opposite sides here. The side opposite this, that's going to be this one. So this is what I meant when I said it becomes a bit unwieldy. You would not want to do this for five vectors. And then the side opposite this would then become, let's see, this one right here. All right, there it is. So let's take a good look at this. This is A plus B giving me this. And now I'm adding this to this. So I hope the fact that I've used different colors helps. And then, of course, the diagonal runs from, let me get rid of these little points. I don't need them. I only use them to move the vectors, the sides around. Later on, when you learn to use GeoGebra, you'll understand what I'm doing here. So the resultant is the diagonal that runs across this. So that's, and of course, now we get then that that is going to be A plus B plus C. Imagine if we wanted to add a fourth vector. This becomes ugly very quickly. So for visualization purposes, 
I find at least that the tip to tail rule is better, especially if you're dealing with more than two vectors. Where I find the the tail the parallelogram rule better is um or the tail to tail I should say. Maybe I shouldn't say parallelogram, the tail to tail method better is when um I have to do subtraction. Because then when you subtract a vector, let's suppose you want a minus b, well that's the same as adding a plus negative b. So you can just join a and b and well we'll see how we do that in a subsequent video. So let's just compare this quickly with tip to tail. Notice I wanted to add um, these three vectors using the tip to tail rule. Let me just get rid of these. Uh, just remember I need the points to move these. Let me just move this out of the way. So to add a plus b plus c using the tip to tail, look how fast and nice and neat. A plus B plus C, this, this is the result here. Okay, so that's it for the parallelogram rule. Bye for now.